treehouse exhibit um, came about because we wanted to really feature trees, which is what an arboretum is all about. And we decided that one way to do it was to tap into everybody's special memories of tree houses. This particular exhibitor decided that the tree was actually the house to tree frogs. <laughs> Tyler Arboretum is a great place to come for a hike, to get reconnected with nature, to relax, to discover new things with your children. I want to show you them. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Or I want to be picking them up. The mission for the education department is to get the kids to get their hands dirty, their feet wet, to learn about nature hands on. We're invited by Tyler Arboretum to build a treehouse for their treehouse exhibit. This is a replica of Henry David Thoreau's cabin. Do you guys know what this class is about? No. It's called Tremendous Tree Huggers. And what we're going to be doing is learning about Thoreau. He built a cabin like this back in the 1800s. And then what we're going to do, because it's called Tremendous Tree Huggers, we're going to plant some trees up in the woods. Okay? Once there was a nature writer named Henry David Thoreau who lived in Concord, Massachusetts and loved to walk in the wilderness. Do you guys like to walk in the wilderness? Oh, yeah. yeah. Tyler is 650 acres. The Arboretum itself with our collections is about 100 acres. That is all within a fence and we have the fence to keep deer out. The natural areas are 500 50 acres, and that includes woodlands, meadows, two stream valleys, and wetlands. We have 20 miles of hiking trails through those areas, and there's a fair amount of elevation. You can get a good strenuous hike, or 